2022 Space 40 IH just arrived a couple days ago. My manager is keeping it in the system as a sold motorhome so that the other stores don't sell it super quick and it kind of gives us a few days to get ahead of it because we don't have another one coming in for 23 days and this is the most popular motorhome in the country and has been for many years it's just this is the best version of it new front cap new design uh, last year looks really cool new paint job they call they're calling it the generation 10 which is their 10th version of the paint they've ever come up with for the phaeton and it's kind of like a more modern looking design i think which is kind of cool real thick rear cap this is the first year where they integrated the the roof line like the bus started doing in 18 but this is the first year the phaeton has had it integrated or maybe it was last year but this year or last year they did it there's the rear cap here integration with the um, roof line also the new gerard uh, toppers and window awnings they're just a little bit more uh, modern shape, kind of a little bit more squared off. So you have this totally straight across roof line, all integrated just like the bus. This one has way more solar panels than the 18s had. They think they're putting at least three on there now. Two slide trays. They changed the um, coating to the kind of a more wash and wear, almost like a bed liner. And they had the nice soft material on the side, but there's your um, central vacuum system up there. You see everything looks, they're still using that cool foam. They're just using more of it in a little bit thicker grade. But um, yeah, it's pretty amazing to, to uh, see a brand new motorhome roll in, especially when we don't get these very often right now. Still LG, just a little bit bigger. Still has a sound bar. I'm gonna, go through a little of this a little quicker because a lot of it's only one more thing there's a passenger storage all the way through here so you can get the gist of the floor plan and I can get to my appointment real quick there's another drawer down here I keep saying almost every year like how is Phaeton or how is Tiffin gonna make this next motorhome even better than what they've already done and they keep blowing me away so now you have these touch screens literally everywhere there's one here there's one on top of here so no matter where you're sitting or standing you can access everything there's a charging port where you can set your phone on they totally remodeled the seats they're wider better still has the same functions i don't think these are heated they moved the buttons on the inside instead of the outside. There's a little bit nicer button. They wrapped around the cockpit better. Um, everything's digital on the dash now. That's amazing. There's different colors and backgrounds and different things you can do with that. This radio is also pretty cool. And it's a Kenwood deck. It actually has several different angles for glare. The backup camera is massive. You can either see all four, or all three rather, or one, or picture in picture. Tons of different ways to look at it. They have a company called um, Triple, Triple something Electronics. Um, they're down the road from them. That they do all their electronics for every single Tiffin, and each and every one is um, kind of done independent and made special for each coach. So I just kind of like this feature. You can change the angle to whatever you need in case you're getting some glare, okay? You've got a hidden drop-down single bed up here, which is kind of cool. You don't lose your storage. You don't lose your TV. If you need a bed, it's there for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even barely notice it's there. There's another sofa bed here. So you can actually sleep two, three, four, five people in this coach get a view of this they've streamlined the roof line instead of those kind of wavy traditional roof line that you've had in the bus and the phaeton for many years now it's a little more modern looking they've got more 
strip lights, accent lights. There's your electric recliners. They're also a place to charge your phone. They recline and then the backrest also moves independently and they literally go almost flat. Super comfortable. You could probably sleep there and then this one will move the headrest up if you want to get a better angle for the TV or whatever. There's your beautiful kitchen window that they changed. And what's also cool about this floor plan is it's one of the only ones, some of the buses have it, but where they have the kitchen on the this side, which is where you want it. You don't want all your big windows looking out to your campsite blocked by mostly kitchen when it, it's actually better now that they did add the window, but having it over here, even better. The storage up here is amazing. You don't get that in any, any of the brands because of the way the coach and the slides are conducted or are created. So you just get tons of this massive storage overhead. And your switch for your TV. This is a televator. So if you don't want to look at your TV, put it away. You want to watch something, bring it up. So you don't have to block your windows, but you get this fantastic view. And the TV is literally right across from these awesome seats. You can turn around the captain's chairs and have two more kind of theater-like seats, especially the, the driver position. So you can have three or four people right in front of the television. Of course, you have more chairs you can move around too with those. And that, that's gotta be a 60 inch smart TV. More plugs and stuff. There's this, this is a kind of a newer thing. They got this sound bar up on top. This is your island. I really dig this um, new countertop that they're using. It's one of the best designs still being kind of subtle. So you got the island you can put away with all your remotes. It's still set up for dish. Now this is another cool thing. Instead of the dishwasher, which is a little bit, you know, you can always add a dishwasher if it's something you really want to have, but this storage piece they added is really cool. This is brand new for 22. Just massive storage for your kitchen and another pull-out drawer. And just a really cool thing. And then you've got a kind of a, a um, residential style cooktop. Looks like something you might have at home. Three burner. This is a standard propane model, which is kind of like back to basics. You don't have to deal with the aqua hot, having a second motor to deal with, something else to um, take care of. And it, in place of the hot water heater being in, in an aqua hot system being that, you know, endless hot water, you still get that with a tankless water heater system that they provide for this coach, which is called the Truma. And it takes up a lot, a lot less space. So you have an, another control panel over here. It has a lot of controls. Still have your massive sink. This time it's stainless steel. We've got this cool backsplash, real tile. Again, this pulls out, still has the desk feature, two more chairs, still residential grade, uh, dual pane windows. Here, here's how I was telling you, they often are actually, not only the window frame, but the actual glass itself comes from Tiffin. Another control panel here. Nice new sconces, residential fridge again, but this is the ThinkQ, it's, it connects with your phone, it's an LG. Another same kind of pantry system as before. Yeah, I have an LG at home. They're basically about the best, one of the best fridges you can get without spending a fortune, but they're not cheap. And um, this thing, Q technology, you can change temperature, do certain things from your phone. So here's that control panel that was from before. It's changed a little bit. All the main menu buttons are, instead of being down here, kind of hard to see, they're up in here, part of the system. This does a lot more. Still has the heating system on the floor. This one also, finally, comes with a mobile app. You download the app, and in seconds you're connected, you can do everything on your phone, which means you could be doing the slides from outside, you could be changing the temperature from the bedroom. Whatever it is you can do on here, you can do on your phone. Better graphics now. You can change the color of the screen, I think. Settings. Does a bunch of stuff. So again, has the 
dimmers, but the dimmers are more easy to control now. You can just slide that down for whatever one you want and see exactly where it's at instead of having to hold it. Okay, so this is a bath and half. Still has the sweeper and the vacuum system. Here's your first bathroom. Your guest bathroom's right here. It's really well put together. Plenty of storage, cool backsplash. Solid door. Tempur-Pedic style mattress. All the uh, pillows and um, bed bedding is all still wrapped up. You have now two USB ports to charge devices next to your bed. You have two more controllers, one here and then one on the other side. So you can be doing everything from there if you don't want to hold on to your phone in the bed. Tons of storage under the bed as this bed is a, a stationary bed. It's not a moving bed but you get a ton of storage under here and nice and simple. Still ceiling fan, bigger TV in the bedroom now, still get the hamper. All your electronics are back here as usual. Now you have dual sinks in the primary bathroom, master bathroom. So you have this massive bathroom because the slide opens up the bathroom in addition to the bedroom. This is a giant rear slide. Normally the slides in these coaches, even older versions of the 40, um, 45, the slides go to here and then you've got a bathroom, which is still plenty spacious, but this is just an extra few feet. Double sink, more of the cool tile, another control panel, plenty of um, medicine cabinet space, good sized shower with some storage seat still has the slider up there really cool system with the um this has a system that doesn't it allows you basically not to waste water while it's heating up so it saves and recirculates water until it gets the right temperature electric toilet setting for big or small flushes there's your tankless water heater you literally don't have to do anything except turn it on another window in the bedroom or the bathroom rather all your breakers are hidden up here. In the closet, you have your safe still. It's all lit up with some strip lights, closet lights. And so the stack of washer dryers, still the splendid. The floor has been totally upgraded. This is a pretty modern looking plank type floor. But that's, that's a rundown of this 2022 Phaeton. I'll upload it. It's 13 minutes. Should be quicker to upload. I got to run out. But um, I'll be back. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you later. Oh, one more thing. It has the mobile eye system. So that's an, that's an option in here. The mobile eye, which is basically going to keep you a certain distance from other vehicles. This is the power glide chassis. So this is Tiffin's power glide. You can tell by this emblem. I have a list of the options I just ran into here. I'll photograph that and send that over as well. But here it is now if you want to pause on it. You can see the 450 horsepower power glide engine. So you get all 450 of that. Blind spot monitor, mobile eye system, convection microwave and oven. It still has the Wi Fi booster, three solar panels, tire pressure monitor, that's something new. There you go.